Automobile accidents are the third leading cause of death worldwide. All of us know how dangerous it would be to drive at night with our lights off. However, many businesses operate their companies as if to have their lights off driving at night. They drive with the lights out because they are not aware of how their business is growing. They don't have the tools, the processes, or sometimes even the right people in place in order to be successful, and they don't even understand why. Statistics tell us that 54% of businesses are completely unaware of how their top salespeople are getting the results that they have. This statistic is alarming. The reason that it is alarming is because this means that businesses do not know how to consistently get sales to drive top line growth. Businesses are driving with their lights off. The way that businesses can shine their light onto the broken sales process is to employ sales enablement. Sales enablement is a strategic ongoing process that allows sales and marketing teams to have effective conversation and engagements with prospects and customers as they progress through the buyer's journey. Today, the way that buyers make purchasing decisions has changed. Prospects are already informed about the products and services that they're going to purchase. Statistics tell us that 70% of prospects have already research their product before they engage with a salesperson. The job of a salesperson is no longer to provide information, it is to provide value. In order for salespeople to be helpful, they need to have tools, processes, and information readily available for them so that they can add value to the customers as they move through that buyer's journey. The buyer's journey is really made up of three unique phases, an awareness phase, a consideration phase, and a decision-making phase. At each of those phases of the buyer's journey, a salesperson needs to understand exactly where that prospect is and provide value within that phase of the buyer's journey. The standard sales pipeline, which would traditionally look like a prospect is at the top of the funnel, the middle of the funnel, or the bottom of the funnel really has to change. Salespeople need to first identify who their prospects are. Second, they need to connect with that prospect. Third, they need to explore the options along with that prospect, helping them to make wise decisions as they are considering their options. If a salesperson can consistently help prospects through this buyer's journey, they are more consistently going to be able to close sales because they're adding value to the buyer's journey of that prospect. One of the challenges that businesses have and ensuring that they have a scalable, repeatable process is that they are limited with the tools that they use to be able to track how prospects are moving through the buyer's journey. The reason that they're limited in the tools is not because the technology is not available. It's because business owners are sometimes driving with their lights out because they're so focused on getting sales that they're forgetting to take a step back turn on the lights, and look at the processes surrounding that sales cycle, as well as evaluating tools that will allow them to be able to measure results and to be able to uh, consistently and repeatedly improve upon those results. It's not enough for salespeople to direct prospects to their website because most times a prospect has already reviewed information that's readily found on their website. Salespeople need to be able to have tools and other content that adds value to where each prospect is in that buyer's journey. It's critical for salespeople 
to be able to uh, get their hands on the right information at the right time. That this information needs to be at their fingertips. This information needs to be readily accessible to them. Salespeople need to be able to provide more information than what can be found on their website. This is important because prospects have already spent time on a company's website, and therefore, if a salesperson is to add value, they have to have something more that can be personalized and customized for that specific prospect at the phase that they are within the buyer's journey. It's alarming that automobile accidents are the third leading cause of death worldwide. But it's just as alarming that business owners are not aware of how to consistently and repeatedly grow their sales organization. It is critical as a business owner that you take the time to step away from the focus of just trying to close individual sales and take a look at the bigger picture. You need to understand the process behind your sales organization, what they're doing so that you can have and implement a scalable, repeatable process that ensures results on a long-term basis.